All right, in this particular lesson, what we're going to be looking at is multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Um, to multiply and divide rational expressions, uh, the first step, as has been when we simplify rational expressions, is to factor the numerator and denominator completely. Uh, secondly, before we start uh, dividing by common factors and simplifying, uh, we need to state the non-permissible values, so values of the variable that make the denominator equal to zero. Uh, thirdly, um, if we're dividing, what we're going to do is multiply by the reciprocal. And what that is going to do is create a new denominator because we'll be flipping or uh, yeah, flipping the second fraction. So uh, by having a new denominator, what we're going to have to do is state any new NPVs that are created by doing that. Uh, fourth step, which is not necessary, I'll show that as we go through some examples, is to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. And fifthly, uh, what we're going to do is divide the numerators and denominators by any common factors. And that will leave us with uh, the simplest form of our particular rational expression. Uh, let's look at a few examples. Uh, this first example uh, says to simplify and state your NPVs, as they all will. Um, what you could do, which isn't necessary, and I'll point that out in a little bit, is to, first of all, you could represent the first rational expression as 2 times x times x, and 8 could be represented as 2 times 2 times 2 times y. Uh, your second rational expression could be represented as 2 times y times y over 3 times x times y. And if you'd like to multiply uh, your numerators, actually we should state our NPVs first. Uh, our NPVs in this particular case would be from the two factors of y, would be that y can't equal 0, that's a non-permissible value. And our other non-permissible value from the factor of x is that x cannot equal 0. Um, if you'd like to multiply the numerators and the denominators, this is step 4. Uh, it's not necessary, I'll point that on a little bit, but what we could do is the numerators, the number of parts would be 2 times 2, and the variable parts would be x times x times y times y, and that would all be over uh, all the number parts, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times x times y times y. And in this particular case, we could cancel out all of our common factors. So these pair of 2s cancel out. So to this pair of 2s, uh, this pair of y's, or x's, I should say, this pair of y's, and also this pair of y's. So our final simplest form, in our numerator, we have just a variable x. In our denominator, we have, uh, it appears, like we just have 6. So our simplest form is x over 6. Um, not necessary. You, you could have canceled out the common factors in this step above. So cancel out the 2s, uh, cancel out the 2s, cancel out the uh, x's, and cancel out the two pairs of y's, uh, because you're allowed to divide by common factors in either of the rational expressions because it's multiplying. And you get the same thing. You get x over 6. Uh, moving on to the next example, let's factor everything before we start simplifying and stating our NPVs. Uh, first of all, our first numerator would be uh, b plus 3 over b minus 2. And our denominator would be a common factor of b outside of b plus 3. And that would be times uh, b minus 4 and b plus 2 all over a difference of squares of b plus 2 and b minus 2. Uh, in this particular case, we are going to have four uh, <clears throat> different non-permissible values. Our four different non-permissible values in this particular case uh, would be that b cannot equal 0. That's one non-permissible value. Uh, b cannot equal negative 3. If you're struggling with non-permissible values, you may want to look at a previous video called uh, Non-Permissible Values of Rational Expressions, and that would hopefully help you out with that because I'm going over them pretty quickly. Um, there's our non-permissible values. Next, what we could do is multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, but since it's multiplication, we can just divide by any common factors. Uh, the b plus 3s cancel out, these b minus 2s cancel out, and as well as these b plus 2s cancel out. So leaving us with a numerator of b minus 4 and a denominator of b, and there's our simplest form. Uh, in our next example, this is the first example where you're going to have some division going on, so we'll see what, how that impacts our simplest form and our non-permissible values in a little bit. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is factor all of these. Uh, this numerator here, uh, you could do by decomposition, guess and check, box method. If you're struggling with factoring, you may want to look at chapter 4, uh, 4.2, uh, <clears throat> part 1, and there's a number of lessons that teach you how to factor a variety of ways. Um, this particular one, 
You could do guess and check if you like to. So 3x and x are the only values that will give us a first value of 3. And let's say that I guessed that it was going to be plus 2 and minus 4, for example. Um, that will give us uh, outside terms of minus 12x and inside terms of plus 2x, which, does, which makes minus 10x, which is not minus 2x, so you might want to guess and check something else. Uh, another way to guess and check if you'd like to is kind of a cross product, so you could write uh, 3 and 1 this way, that represents your first terms, and just come up with any uh, <clears throat> two values that multiply to be negative 8. Maybe I'll try this particular one, and if I do the cross products, what I get here is, is that 3 times negative 2 is negative 6x, and 1 times 4 is plus 4x, and that makes negative 2x, which does uh, satisfy this. So our two factors in this particular case uh, would be 3x plus 4 <clears throat> and x minus 2. Uh, you could also use decomposition, which I won't show in this particular case, um, <clears throat> but you could use decomposition. So there's our factors for our first one. Our next one, what we have is a greatest common factor of 3x, and that leaves us with 3x plus 4, uh, and that is divided by a difference of squares of 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3 all over 6. I guess you could rewrite 6 if you'd like to as 2 times 3, that might be smart, uh, times 3 minus 2x all over 1. Uh, in this particular case, we have a number of non-permissible values. Uh, we have a total of, well, just two of them at the particular moment. Our two non-permissible values at the moment are that x cannot equal 0. That's one non-permissible value. Our other non-permissible value is that x cannot equal negative 4 thirds. Um, and you'd have to state other non-permissible values if they existed in any denominators. Our next step in this particular case is going to be uh, multiplying by the reciprocal of any dividing problems and then stating some new non-permissible values. So uh, what I'm going to do is rewrite this entire thing, because then we're going to start simplifying, uh, except I'm going to take the reciprocal of the second fraction or the second rational expression and state new non-permissible values if they exist. Uh, so that's going to be times... Uh, 2 times 3 over 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3 uh, and then times 3 minus 2x over 1. Uh, in this particular case we're actually going to have two uh, brand new non-permissible values so just make sure that you're always stating non-permissible values if you represent any new denominators. So new non-permissible values would be x cannot equal um, negative 3 halves that's one and from that uh, blue highlighted factor it would be that x cannot equal positive 3 halves. So we have four non-permissible values. Now we can start simplifying by dividing by common factors. Uh, we have common factors of 3x plus 4. We have common factors of uh, 3 here. We also have common factors uh, which are hard to identify. In this particular case, it, it looks like there's no more common factors, but what you may notice is that these two here, 3 minus 2x and 2x minus 3, those are opposites. And we've talked about it in a previous lesson that if we have opposite factors, what we can do is factor out a negative 1 uh, because then they'll be the same factors. Or if I wanted to show it a particular way, uh, maybe I'll represent this is the same as negative 1 times 2x minus 3. And now you can see that we have a common factor of 2x minus 3. So in this particular case, what we can do is divide... I've simplified this, we can divide by common factors of 2x minus 3. And that leaves us in the numerator with x minus 2, a 2, and a negative 1. So the number parts become negative 2 uh, outside of x minus 2. And in our denominator, we have x and 2x plus 3 and 1. Uh, so that'll leave us with a <clears throat> denominator of x and 2x plus 3. And that is the simplest form of this rational expression. And we have all our non-permissible values stated. Uh, in this last example, what we're going to look at is uh, just an application problem. It says, write an expression for length in simplest form. We have the area and the width. Uh, so as we know from <clears throat> our past uh, formula for area, uh, area is equivalent to length times width. So if we want an expression for length, what we should do is isolate length. Uh, and length is equal to area divided by width. Or in other words, if we want to throw in these expressions here, uh, length is equal to, 
me write it over here. Length is equal to area, which is x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 4x, uh, divided by width, which is x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared plus x minus 20. Uh, our next step in this case would be to factor everything that's possible. Our numerator of our first fraction is, our first rational expression is a difference of squares. Uh, our second one is a greatest common factor. Uh, then our numerator of our second rational expression will be x plus 3 and x minus 2. And our last rational expression would be x plus 5 and x minus 4. Uh, first thing we need to do is state some non-permissible values. And in this case, we have a total of three of them because there's uh, not a unique factor of x minus 4 that happens twice. So uh, in this particular case, we have x cannot equal 0 as a non-permissible value. We have x cannot equal 4 as a non-permissible value. Uh, we have, finally, x cannot equal negative 5 as a non-permissible value. However, what we're going to need to do next is, uh, <coughs> sorry for all the announcements, uh, we're going to need to take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this is going to be length is equal to x minus 2, x plus 2, uh, over and you don't have to show this step, but you do need to represent the new non-permissible values and simplify carefully if you're not going to show this step. Uh, <clears throat> by flipping the second fraction and multiplying, what this is going to do is represent two, before I start simplifying, two new uh, non-permissible values. So we've got a non-permissible value of uh, x <clears throat> can't equal negative three, and also x can't equal 2. So we have lots of non-permissible values. And finally, we can start dividing by common factors. Uh, these x minus 2s can be divided out. These x minus 4s can be divided out. And I do not believe that there's any more common factors. So we're left in our numerator uh, with <clears throat> x plus 2 and x plus 5. And our denominator, we're left with x and x plus 3, and that is going to be our simplest form.